you kind of hear people a lot in our world say things like, well, I'm spiritual, not religious. Okay. And what we get in Mosiah 6 is a reason to be both, to both okay. be spiritually <laughs> and religious. He says, and now King Benjamin thought it was expedient after having finished speaking to the people that he should take the names of all those who have entered into a covenant with God to keep his commandments. It's so fascinating. Why would Mormon take the time to write this down? He continues in verse 3, And again it came to pass that when King Benjamin had made an end of these things and had consecrated his son Mosiah to be a ruler and a king over his people and had given him all the charges concerning the kingdom and also had appointed priests to teach the people that thereby they might hear and know the commandments of God and stir them up in remembrance of the oath which they had made, he dismissed the multitude and they returned everyone according uh, to their families to their own house. So he takes their names, he calls teachers, he's creating a structure that these people can then thereby be nourished and remembered and stirred up to righteousness. Uh, let me say it really briefly. When we are organized, it increases our capacity to love. Those who are disorganized, they might have good intentions, mm -hmm. but when an organized religion works well together, then they can bless the poor, they can teach each other, they can minister to each other. Organized religion is one of the best ways to connect with the love of God.